everyone today we will look at how to go through your directories and files using python suppose oh, you wrote a piece of code for example we recently did how to say word count of a file uh, and and then suppose if i am doing that and i want to do it all over the all the files in the current directory or maybe in different directories you know and then we can we can actually let's see what are the tools which is available in python so we can first of all use the os module import os and then suppose if i want to look at the current directory that i am in the number of files there i can say os.list directory and if i put default that is the current working directory so this is the directory that i am in right now uh, and we can also put just maybe like that or we can also do that so these are all representation of the current working directory this is the world where i started uh, my ipython shell and now or oh, suppose i get this file my file 3 i want really know where exactly is the full path with respect to like in a c colon you know c colon program files so on and forth or in windows root home you know so we can use os dot path dot list os path dot absolute path and say my file 3 so this is the what exactly the file is we, you may be able to use for example i want to list the file maybe in python basics or something like that i can put and instead of doing the relative path like that with the respect to the current directory we can put the full path name you know and now uh we suppose if i want to check uh for example if it's a file or a directory we can for example use os.path is file say my file so it is true and now uh suppose let us for example go through uh say suppose now at the moment if i list my ls now i have these words here and if i do um this is where you know and i have so we have one two three four five and this is a directory this is a directory so we have two directories inside inside that we have like our, our total five files suppose i want to do something through all of these files i want to run through all these files maybe do some kind of processing so let's try write a small you know get a tester function say say process file nothing is there just a skeleton we can fill in so you could put your word count program in it and you know so now uh, let us write let us go through the how to how we can traverse through so we can definitely use our list directory right so let us write, write a function so say definition maybe traverse for that right so directory is my directory which can be dot like current directory or you can put a full path wherever you want to start at the moment we will start with the current working directory where my directory and everything is there so now we'll say what we'll say we'll we can list the file right it's a simple list list directory is a simple list so it's giving me the two files and the directory so you say for right for file in file in os dot list yeah right and we can put our and so we loop through that and so now oh uh, so we have a file right in the this directory this is the current working directory so we can combine with the folder name so we'll say what we uh, so we can say 
os dot path here we can use something called join so with our directory we'll join the file okay so this we can call maybe path or full or path plus file whatever your name so this is the this uh, when we do this for example let us uh, let us break here suppose when i do os dot path dot join for example my directory so i get something like this for example if i put os dot yeah so i get something like this so this is very Im important uh for example um i could manually in a add since this is a simple string concatenation i can just add a forward slash but when i use path or join depending upon the platform is a linux system or windows uh, it will take uh, the maybe it's a backward slash or the double backward slash or, or single forward like here in linux so it will take so it automatically will be taken care of care for us the directory uh, joining with the file name so let us go back to our thing so we joined now we can we need to figure it out because it's a path it's a file or a or a directory right so just ask if it's a file so path dot is file right like that os dot path dot is file path right and we'll ask that question if that is the case we can do the processing right word count or whatever so we say process file with the path and maybe it's of print the path so that we can see for testing as so here is the thing right so we got a directory now now we can use the same function to to list the file inside that so we'll do the thing that we uh, seen previously what is called yeah we'll do recurse so you recursion right you can recursively go through the file so we have seen an example previously so we can do so this is a good example for recursing so we can call the function again here so traverse with directory right i'm calling the same function with the new updated path which is a, a path to a directory so now let's test it with the current directory so let's see we are getting so we're getting one two three four five all the files right uh so in that way you can process everything in the full directory tree now we can also do this in a little bit more we don't have to use the recursion we can use the walk os dot walk so here uh, we have this is our directory and every time you call this suppose if i'm looping through it like a generator uh, uh i can like an iterator so i i get these three things uh, the directory path which is uh, for example if i'm putting top as my current directory that will be the single string of the current directory name and this is names it's a list of directories there it's a directory one or directory and directory one directory two so on and so forth how many depending upon how many you have but it's a list and this is also a list so every time we get this um, this kind of a uh, uh, data structure so i can say for directory path directories and files in say we are walking the current directory and now so we can just say look at the print files see it gives every step it is giving me is go walking through the different directories and giving me the file names so it will recurse through every each and every folder and we get everything um so now this files is is a list so we can do the same process right we can simply say that um i can do right for file in files right it's a list and i can process it right and i can create again path right equal to os dot path dot join 
I can set directory path file. So here it is my directory path and process file path and maybe print path, right? So we are going through every file and then processing it and let's see. So see, we get all the files. The order may be different depending upon how the how we traversed it, how this recursion happens and how os.walk is traversing the directory structure. So the order in which get the file files may be slightly different. Uh, so this is the uh, the directory, some of the how to you can manage and look through your files and process files and walk through your directory system uh, on your computer hard drive using python and uh, this is really uh, useful and thank you very much for watching